Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Syracuse Unpeeled, where we give you all the latest, most hard-hitting entertainment news. Tonight, Jay-Z and Beyonce get artsy, Andrea gets us in the Halloween spirit, and later on, we'll catch up with Cameron Lynch of the Syracuse men's football team. I'm Cassie Delora, here with Haley Schluter, Jacob Friesengrant, and our guest co-host, Bobby O'Brien. Bobby is a senior TRF major in Newhouse, and he actually was on the pilot episode of Syracuse Unpeeled. So welcome back. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we're excited. Let's get to our first story. Since it's almost Halloween, let's start off with reports of creepy clowns, quote, terrorizing Wasco, California, according to ABC. Some were reported to be carrying machetes and baseball bats. It sounds horrifying. It's but wait, since when haven't clowns been creepy? I feel like they've always been creepy since the beginning. It's very creepy. I, I, I'm, I'm terrorized by them. Are you, I don't know about See, you, it's, but... It's reports like these that make me angered that America's longtime fear of clowns is irrational. Like, I mean, they have machetes. It's think, very rational. I think it's cool. I'd like to know the crime rate of this town right now. I bet it's at an all-time low with, with clowns and machetes. Because I think it's like, you know what I mean? You got them patrolling. You, let your kids out. You're good. Do you want the crime rate in general, or do you want the crime rate of clowns with machetes? Like, how often do they actually strike? Or are they just kind of like, uh, I That's chase minimal. you and... That's minimal. They're sick. misunderstood, dude. They're okay. misunderstood. Misunderstood yeah. creatures. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel that, you know. Yep. Polka dots on the face. They, they got something They're else They're soft wrong. inside. They're You're soft a fan inside. of clowns, aren't you? I mean, like a, fan, a fan of clowns? No. Do we like clowns? Yes, you know. So, if you, so if you were in this, this town in California and you saw a, a clown coming at you with a machete, you wouldn't be scared? No, I would be scared. But not because it was a clown coming out of the machete, but because it was a person with a machete coming at me. In general. All right, let's get to our next story. So a mother in the good state of Florida has just launched a petition to have the Breaking Bad action figures removed from all Toys R Us stores around the country. The figures come complete with a detachable sack of cash and a bag of meth. <laughs> that is the most realistic toy I think I've ever heard of. <laughs> I like rated. I like. I like the idea of having a new section in stores. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm pitching this. In the process of pitching this. Okay, okay. It's called Rated R Us. And you go back <laughs> into the, and there's like this back sketchy room with like the beaded curtain and the guy like kind of sketchy working the counter. What's up, kid? Like, oh, you, you ever seen one of these magazines? You know what I mean? And that's where you can sell this, uh, this action figure. It fits, guys. <laughs> no, no. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't <laughs> think this action figure, along with adult magazines, in the back of a Toys R Us. Rated R Us. Rated R Us. Yeah, all right. So while uh, the kids I'll go I'll see you guys there. at the top. I'll be at the top looking down on my stacks of money. So oh when you take your kids to go shopping for toys, you're going to leave them alone and go back it's to like, the Rated you know R Us. You know how at Ikea they have the ball pit for oh the kids God. to go in when the parents shop? Here you have Rated R Us for the parents to go shop while the kids... You know what I mean? But how, so, so you just let the kids just go? Yeah, yeah. No, they're cool. They, so they end up in the Rated R section, too, with the well, yeah, detachable the, meth. Now we'll that that's where the action figure is. All right, well, now I know where I'll find you two as parents one day <laughs> in Toys R Us. Oh, let's get to our next story. This next one comes to us from Connecticut, where 43-year-old Shayla Hedge has called the Glastonbury police 162 times since 2007, 24 in the past year alone. The kicker, she once called to complain that her CDs were scratched. <laughs> Does she not have an iPod? I mean, who uses CDs? I mean, I CDs? guess not, but... <laughs> She's like a hypochondriac for crimes. Like, every crime is a crime, yep. but Warren's calling the police. You know, because I call my mom every day, like, I don't have a... You know, I'm sick, I'm sick. It's like, yeah, you call the police for every darn thing. Mm -hmm. What? Now her iPod's scratched, by the way, not her CDs, but still. She's just trying to talk. She's just, she's just she's looking just... for some friends. I, I actually have... I actually know some people who've done some crazy stuff. Yeah, I mean, I don't have many, but I have, so, I have a friend of 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 a friend. Oh, so you have a lot of friends. Called about, about an talking. erection lasting longer than four hours. I'm just saying. That it's it's like a hotline. Wait, hold on. I'm so pretty sure you're supposed to call said, a doctor, not hey, the police. Hey, hey, A friend of 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 a friend. You're talking about yourself, aren't you? You're I just never, covering it up with when, a friend of the friend of the friend. When you, exactly. When you say that many friends, eventually it's, a, it's one big circle yep. that comes yep. back to yourself. Mm -hmm. Because who actually would tell anybody else about that? We'll see. Ricky Bobby. I, uh, uh, <laughs> let's, let's find out what our viewers have to say. Viewer poll, what's the most absurd complaint to 911 you can think of? Tweet us at S Unpeeled with your, response, your responses. Um, quick follow up with that. My aunt is a dispatcher in Michigan. And I called her when I first heard about this story. And I said, what's the craziest complaint you've ever gotten? She said that someone once called her complaining that there were flashing lights in, in their bedroom at night. They, mm -hmm. honest to God, thought they were being attacked by Martians. They, they could have been. They 
they thought. Uh, and then what did the police? They just shut it down. They're like, no, no more. Well, my here. aunt's a dispatcher. It was her responsibility. She said, go back to sleep and carry on with your with your night. If, but um, if I me, call okay. the police about aliens Not coming to, to attack me, I want I want the police to come. Yeah. Aliens are real. Mm -hmm. It's a real wow. problem. I don't like that you're downplaying. Didn't it. you see <laughs> Paranormal Activity? That movie was <laughs> idle. I didn't. The but movie was a home. It was a home video. I thought. <laughs> let's change the like subject completely to a whole corner. different topic. Let's talk about people's lives. We wish we could have Jay Z and Beyonce recently took their daughter Blue Ivy on a private tour of the Louvre Museum in Paris. I don't know about you guys, but I didn't, have never gotten a private tour of the Louvre. <laughs> <laughs> I've never even seen the Louvre. Yeah, I've never <laughs> even seen a photograph of the Louvre. I could, I guess I could Google it, but I've never even seen. Google's like aerial view of the really? online. I don't know how this, how is this lives you wish you, uh, wish you had? To be a three year old in a museum, that's like, I mean, that's so <laughs> that's pretty cool. I cannot think of anything worse than being a three year old. What's she gonna get? I, I think I think a few things worse than a three year old in a museum. Just, just one or two. Oh, I don't know. Three year old without food, maybe? Oh, a three year old oh, who's left in Toys R Us while oh. his parents are back in Toys R Us and he's wandering around lost. Ouch. Okay, I'll put it in the top three. He'll settle and put it in the top three. <laughs> okay, just settle. <laughs> no, no, but for her going, for, you know, it's Beyonce and Jay-Z's kid, her going to the Louvre, they, they shut it down. That's just like, that's just like a normal day at McDonald's for her. That's just her getting a Happy Meal. She's used to these type of things. It's nothing new for her. What is she wow, going to be used to by the time she's, you know, 10, 15, yeah. 20? Like, yeah. what else can you get a private tour of? <laughs> I don't know, but let's talk about a, a collaboration that we have on our hands now. Little John, Lena Dunham, and Whoopi Goldberg, among with other celebrities too, have a music video called Turn Out For What as part of a promotional campaign for Rock the Vote in the upcoming midterm elections. <laughs> yeah! Oh, God. <laughs> Knew that was coming. I'd, I'd like to see a three on three. I'd like to see that squad as a three on three basketball team. For the record, I just want to put it out there, Whoopi, if you're listening. I'd like to see <laughs> Whoopi, Leah Dunham, and uh, Lil John you didn't uh, squad know, up. You didn't, sorry, to completely cut you off, but you didn't know Whoopi is a. She, she watches our show every week. Yeah, no, she's a, we're she's a viewer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. no, I just. Uh, okay. Yeah. So that's why you sure. put out that plug. Um, I just want to talk about who was in the boardroom, like who was in charge of being like, who should we get for this? And they came to Lil John as the most credible person that all Americans will listen to you know, on a matter of serious voting. That's like... You know what, I think I think that they went to Little John because they're trying to say, you know, marijuana is a big issue out here. Little John's only voting to legalize marijuana. They said, you know what, we're going to get a section of the population. You know, they're going to see Little John, they're going to think back to the last song they put out. They're like, should I vote? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Well, then you also have Lena Dunham, who's like feminist icon. There's that swinging that those votes right in. Wow, so th this is actually this pretty was, strategic. Yeah. That was, you know what? Now that you guys made those points, True. pretty valid. Mm -hmm. And Whoopi, go Whoopi. And Whoopi, so. <laughs> Democrat, and good old Whoopi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about another actually really creepy Halloween story. It's a farmer in California who created the pumpkin stein by growing a pumpkin inside a plastic mold of the Frankenstein monster's head. Wow. That, I mean, that is creative, but how lazy are we getting? We don't even follow the tradition of carving our own pumpkins anymore. I mean, what is this? What are we coming to? Where's Halloween traditions going? That was my tradition all throughout my childhood. Carving I wonder how it tastes. Pumpkins. I wonder how it tastes. I'm a big pumpkin pie guy. I wonder if, like, <laughs> if, the, if the taste is different, you know what I mean? Is the crust, like, is it, would it be a tender It's crust? a little hauntier. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little yeah. flavor. Just really get the... The looks of it. You're talking about the specific pumpkin that they made into Frankenhead. Yeah, yeah. Wondering how that. It tastes a little different. Maybe it's a little dustier. You know, Frankenstein was like in a basement or something. It's a little, <laughs> a little drafty. I don't know. But I'd love to get a taste of it. Um, <laughs> so weird. <laughs> On so many different levels. Yeah. I'd love to get a taste of it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Bobby, okay, let's talk about some news around here on campus. Um, this week's headline in, in Syracuse is the Red Cup Project, in which SU and SUNY ESF students created art displays of over 2,000 solo cups. The project is to raise awareness of the amount of waste from Syracuse's party culture. So I'm aware that this will, I'm now aware that this is meant to make us feel shameful. Look at all the waste. But when I first saw it, I was going for a run. When I first saw the display, I felt pride, personally. I was like, whoa, look at it, number one party school, yeah. That was just this weekend. I, so I had no clue that this was meant to be almost like a PSA of, of mm -hmm. Solo Cup, you know? So you were like, wow, look how much I drank the other yeah. day. I didn't realize like, I didn't throw any of those away. You guys, we don't drink them. We don't drink I think it's a good, yeah. I, I, like, I like the message they were trying to send. I thought it was, 
I think it's as college students we should we should totally be thinking about totally dude we should totally, totally be thinking about that sort of issue I don't know and uh, I also think it would make a great addition in the Louvre where we could check it out <laughs> on Wednesday nights on student It'll discounts the, at the museum. The latest edition. Yeah. 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 Maybe Ivy would feel more comfortable looking at that than more. She's only three she years old. Yeah, so. No, I mean, start, start she probably now. wouldn't understand it, I don't think. You know what I'm saying? Three years old. They start <laughs> young nowadays. So. They start <laughs> well, Bobby, thank you so much for joining us. And Haley, Jacob, as always, it's great to have you guys. Coming up next, we get spooky with Andrea and Andrea, and later I'll be catching in with Cameron Lynch. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Peelers. It's back, and Halloween is just around the corner. I'm your girl, Drayla, and we're so excited for this week's activities. I heard there's some suspicious activity going on at the cemetery, so we're going to go check out that. Um, I'm right on top of it, so I think I can pretty much scare away anything that comes my way. I'm pretty sure of it. And, uh, but first we had this fun idea that we're going to bring along my fun little friend here and we're going to try to go and shine and see who, uh, who we can victimize here. And, um, I think, are you ready? She's oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm <laughs> she's, born ready. The clown said she's born ready. So we're going to go into shine and, uh, see what, uh, fun things we can, um, cook up. You know what I'm saying? All right. What has been your favorite, uh, Halloween costume? That I've been, um, I was Bette Midler's character from Hocus Pocus. With the red hair yeah, shaped yeah, like yeah. that, like yeah. a heart. Yeah, I was the main. Year. She's the main witch, right? Yeah, the main witch. Yeah. I love that movie. Every time it comes me on, too. I'm like, I'm like, favorite. yes, me too. And what is your favorite Halloween candy? Definitely Kit Kats. Kit Kats? Yeah, I've already started eating them like a week ago. <laughs> oh, that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just um for Citrus He's TV so and the short. Oh. Okay, so, what is your favorite candy for Halloween? Reese's. Definitely. Just Reese's, you're into like peanut butter? Yeah, I love peanut butter. Sounds good. Is Halloween one of your favorite um, big celebrations? Yeah, definitely. It's my favorite. Cool. What are you planning on being for Halloween? Uh, probably <laughs> a vampire. <laughs> what are your Halloween plans for this year? Uh, I'm going up to Potsdam to go visit my buddy and spend Halloween up there, actually. Oh, that's really fun. That's really fun. And what is your favorite Halloween candy? Uh, my favorite Halloween candy. Probably candy corn. Candy corn? Oh, that's like all sugar, but I like it. I like I like it a lot. <laughs> the point is to scare people, but it's not really working, so thank you so much. <laughs> What's your favorite candy for Halloween? Um, I really like Reese's and M&M's. Reese's? A lot of people have been saying Reese's. I think that's one of that's a big candy choice. Do you have any uh, costume ideas right now? Um, I'm not really sure. No, maybe. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what are you planning on being for Halloween this year, Eugene? Something is like sexy and then something else after that. You know what I mean? Like every costume is like sexy Superman, sexy right. angel. It's like sexy something after that. I don't know. So what is a sexy to your... <laughs> what do you do that? I didn't know. I didn't know that was going to be <laughs> What is your favorite Halloween candy? Um... Candy corn. Candy corn? Awesome. People, other people have said that too. Have you ever done Fright Night at the fair? I have not. No, me neither. I think I'd be so scared if I ever did it. And what kind of costumes are you picking? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What were you planning on being for Halloween this year? Well, I actually was going to ask my dad to send my little Greek Roman outfit from home so he can go in my closet and find that. So that'll be really interesting for him to see. And I was also going to ask him to send me Reese's Pieces because I love when they're in the little... Halloween, I think they're in the Halloween oh, yeah. shapes. Mm -hmm. That's what I was going to ask him to bring me. I was gonna, just gonna, about to ask you that same question. What is your favorite Halloween candy? Oh, Reese's by far. Oh my God. <laughs> Everybody's, a Don't lot of people. anything else. Only Reese's. I won't eat it. <laughs> cool. And so would you say, oh my God. so what is your favorite Halloween costume for a girl to be? A teacher. A teacher? Like an old, like an old librarian? Okay, okay, not like an old librarian, kind of like a, like a sexy kind of like real small skirt type of like short type of little button up thing going on, glasses going. Oh, what the? <laughs> Thank you so much. That was, would the teacher have a ruler? Uh, the teacher would have to have a ruler. Right? That, that's definitely necessary in the whole teacher scheme. That plays a part. No clowns. Clowns are not sexy. It's just never sexy. No clowns. No clowns. <laughs> hey, Unpeelers, we're back. I had a lot of fun scaring people in Shine, but I think it's time that I get spooked. 
There are two things scary at Syracuse. One, the cemetery. Two, Taco Tuesday at Ernie. I decided with the former, so let's go get spooked in the cemetery and see if we can find anything a little unusual around here. right now the camera is gone I have no idea I'm literally by myself okay um okay if I die if, I, if someone finds this camera report it back to Cassie Cassie I love you and um Alex my roommate you can have the popcorn maker the kernels in the top of the cabinet parents my mom I love you oh my god what is that <coughs> okay I have no idea what that was but I'm gonna try to be really brave right now and go up and see what it is this is a really stupid idea oh my gosh okay to everyone in the studios, hold down the fort if I die. I love you all. Okay, what is this hill right now? Besides this, I'll be really in shape when I die. Okay. Oh my God, what is that? <laughs> I'm Peelers, that was me. That was all me. I just tripped on the hill. All right, we're still going up this. I'm gonna try to see who this is. Oh my God! Oh, it's just you. I told you to stay and shine. All right, I've successfully been spooked here. What, what did I? <laughs> oh man, back to you, Cassie. I've been spooked for enough days. I should have just stuck with the Taco Tuesday with Ernie. All right, see you guys. Welcome back to Syracuse Unpeeled. Today I'm joined by Cameron Lynch, linebacker for the SU men's football team and host of Cam's Cam mm -hmm. on SU Athletics and on YouTube. So you're yes. a little YouTube star over yes, here. Yes, yes. And usually you're the one asking all the questions. Mm -hmm. But today I'm going to put you in the hot seat. Okay, make it hot. All right. Yep. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's start talking about Cam's Cam first okay. of all. Tell us a little bit about the show, how it got started, where it's going. and. Okay, well... Uh, Miss Sue. Miss Sue gave me the, the role of the Cam's Cam. So basically I said, Miss Sue, I want to I wanna roll like something because I want to get into, you know, broadcasting. So I said, hey, Miss Sue, give me, give me a little something for the season. So every game, every week I have somebody special come on. So whether, it's, whether it be somebody doing poetry, um, you know, a little cooking demonstration or anything like that, um, I have somebody, one of my teammates come on. So um, next week is, is going to be a special, a special guest too because, you know, he has a special talent that people probably won't know, know about. So um, I have him come on Cam's Cam and, you know, just do his thing. Um, towards the end of the, the show, I have like a little thing called 38 Get Down. So whether it be dancing, whether it be like an eat a cook off or, you know, eat something really fast or a flex off with Josh Kirkland and Luke Arsenega, um, you know, just different things. So um, just expose our teammates, you know, their personalities. What's the feedback that you've gotten so far with the show? Um, it's been pretty awesome. You know, like moms will come up to me like after the game, like, oh, like I watched your show, like it was amazing, blah, blah, blah. Like who's on the next one? I can't tell them that though. But um, it's great feedback. Um, and I, I asked BDJ majors and TRF majors like, yo, like what can I do to get to make this better? Like, mm -hmm. you know, my angles or like how I talk. So, you know, they give me ideas like do this, do that. So um, it's a learning process. Do your teammates fight for who gets to be on the next Cam's Cam? No, no doubt, no <laughs> doubt. My, you know, my roommate's like, yo, like, what am I going to be on Cam's Cam, dog? Like, put me on. So 
um, you know, uh, I have to allow them in, in good spots too because mm -hmm. I can't just throw anybody on there. If they don't have right. anything to offer, then they know why why put them on there. So I try to make it special. Um, last week or this week, I had um, Jared West and AJ Long on there, so they're cousins. So you know, they had like a little you know a little a little show with where you know they argued what team's better or who played quarterback <laughs> first. So it was it was a good show, but. Um, usually I like to have dancing on there or I have poetry or somebody singing. It's, just, it's different things. Mix it up. And your teammates, you've known them, you know, for years. So mm. it's got to be so much fun for you to, to interview them. And, and basically yeah. it's hanging out. But what has been the most fun, the most memorable interview that you've done so far? The most memorable one was with um, Josh Kirkland and uh, Luke, Arcan Arcana Luke Arsenega. Um, you know, we had a flex out period basically. So they did some curls, you know, some push ups before the, before the show. Uh, we drank a few muscle moves there in the show, whatever. So that was pretty <laughs> awesome. I um, got, got great feedback from that one. So that was a fun one um, with Rob Trudeau and Ivan Fool was fun too. We ate fruit snacks at the end of it because, <laughs> you know, they're the best cooks on the team. Um, I lived, lived with Rob Trudeau um, for three years. So um, he can throw down, man. You know, he makes some good fried chicken, <laughs> um, some good mac and cheese. So he gets it from his mom. So um, he'll, he'll throw down at the crib. Um, I live with Dyshawn Davis now. Man, he can cook really well as well. So you didn't um, bring food for me. Nah, today? I didn't bring, no, I didn't bring no, no food. That's that's all me. I'm the only child, so you know I gotta I gotta hug all the food. But um, you know those guys, those are we have a we have some funny teammates, man. Um, funny and talented teammates, and I just want to get the world to let the world know who we are. You know, rather than who can run the fastest, who can jump the fastest. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just under the under the jersey, man. Under the jersey, under the helmet. You know, who's smart? You know, so I'll expose that. Like, hey, like you know, you have 4.0 GPA or John Sam Rogers. Um, you know, academic All-American. So, you know, we have guys that have different talents on our team. So, so going off of that, what's kind of the legacy that you want to leave on the program? Because not only are you a player on the team, mm -hmm. you know, you have this media presence. You're a host for the for Cam's Cam. Yeah, no doubt. Um, well, you know, of course, I want to go to want to go to a bowl game. Of course, that's always our dream is to go to a bowl game and uh, and win out. But another thing is just to let people know, you know, who we who we are. Like a lot of students will say, oh. Well, you guys go to school, uh, school there for free, but I want to let them know like how hard we work, you know, how hard, how early we wake up in the mornings, how much we lift, and um, you know, just different personalities. Like they're people too; they're not just you know football players. Like they're funny, cool to be around. So, um, you know, I just want to let them know, you know, how special our team is. And you're working so hard on this because you know I remember you mentioning to me that you want to go to grad school at Newhouse. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why, you know, ultimately after Newhouse, what would you like to do with your career, and w why Newhouse? Um, New House because it's the best program in the nation. Um, and plus, you know, I try to make the ESPN. That's the move. Like Mike Tirico came to to speak to us before one game. I forget what it was, but uh, he talked to us. I was like, man, like I want to be that. Like I want to do that. So um, why not? So I think this route would be a good route for me, and I would love to do it. Well, Cam, best of luck to you, and thank you thank so you. much for joining us today. And tell our viewers where you can find Cam's Cam. Um, SyracuseAthletics.com or YouTube. You know, type it in. Um, it's on there. So uh, go Orange. And stay tuned because up next, Cam and I are going to battle off in a little game of egg roulette. Yeah. You don't want to miss this one. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Thank you. Welcome back to Unpeeled, where Cameron Lynch and I are going to square off in a little battle of egg roulette. Cam, before we start, i got to ask you, since you are our guest, okay. do you want a poncho or do you want some goggles or anything? You no, good? No, good no. Good to go? Good to go. All right, Good producers, let's uh, let's bring out the eggs and let's hear the rules. All right, so it's a dozen eggs. Okay. Eight of them are hard boiled, four are not. Okay. Um, <laughs> no. You have to crack them on your forehead. First one to get two not hard boiled eggs loses. Okay. And right. Cam, okay, you get to go first because you are our guest. Okay. Can I? Can I? Okay. Hold pick them up. Can I touch them? No. You can touch them. You Why? Can touch them. That's the referee. Cheating. That's the referee. I can touch them. Okay. I'm gonna Stop! No, see, I don't like that. You don't That's like that? That's cheating. No, play it. Just you. You're all it's right, like you boss up. You the big dog. All right. I'm all the big right. dog. You this is my show. This is not right. Cam's right. Cam. You have to play by my rules. Mm. <laughs> I have a feeling this one is not boiled. <laughs> oh. oh my God! Man. Another one, like, 
If you get the next, de- technically you lose, but we'll yeah. still play because I. No know. doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Come on. <sighs> Dang. <laughs> like, this is good for the hair, though, right? It's a conditioner. Perfect. No tapping. <laughs> <laughs> Again! All right, ready? Swear? Yeah, probably. be like to be successful tonight you know like <laughs> this is the struggle all right we have to keep playing all because right that's, that's the point of your that's life. the point of the game Let, right. let's let's now we'll go to see how far i can see that game right okay that sounds bad but ah oh, shoot <laughs> yeah. oh my god yeah i think we should not play anymore no 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 no, no 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 you got to oh, do uh, it uh, <laughs> hold it down Like you like, <laughs> what did I do to this show? Know. Oh my know. god! All right, we're done. We are so done. We're done. I thought you said we could keep going. <laughs> Fine, we can keep going. Oh my god, I can see myself. All Never right. give up. Never right. back down. We'll keep Let's going. Go. We'll keep going. Continue Fine. the show. show goes. Fine. Yeah. Sam, why don't you pick one and see if you're? I know. Oh, Let's well, 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 do the other one though. Oh my god. It's dripping too. Oh yeah, this is good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> so wait, hold on. Time out. <laughs> Uh, ew, okay, this is good. so this gross. Is good. I'm good. Oh my god. Man up, man up, dog. Sorry, sorry. No, sorry. I'm gonna have a concussion. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next egg. Look at your face! <laughs> your face looks crazy too. It's fine. No big deal. It's a new trend. Oh my god, it smells so bad. I know. I'm gonna use a big shot of the eye. Another one? Like, I got five of them. You have three of them? I only had one, one of them. I know. All right, that's it for us on Unpeeled. Cameron Lynch, thank you so much for joining us. I'm gonna go shower now. Yes. Everyone, tune in to our next episode of Syracuse Unpeeled. Cam, thanks again. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good you. job. All right. <laughs> <laughs>